You ever watch a video where text, emojis, or even cool effects follow a moving object perfectly? Like they're glued to it? Yeah, that's motion tracking. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, we are diving into how Filmora's AI-powered motion tracking makes that super easy. I'll show you how it works, what cool stuff you can do with it, and how you can get started right away. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description. After watching this video, there might be some nice discounts there. Let's dive in. What is Filmora's motion tracking? So folks, before we start, what exactly is motion tracking? Simply put, it's a feature that follows the movement of any object in your video. Once Filmora tracks that movement, you can attach pretty much anything to it. Text, images, emojis, blurs, you name it. And the best thing about it is that everything moves together seamlessly, like they were meant to be that way from the start. Guys, Filmora takes motion tracking to another level with its AI technology. The smart tracking system automatically follows your selected object throughout the video, saving you tons of time. You don't need to manually adjust frame by frame. Filmora's AI handles all that heavy lifting for you. Whether you're tracking a fast-moving car or a person walking slowly, the AI adapts to keep everything smooth and professional looking. What can it do? Alright guys, now that you know more about the feature, let's dive into what this powerful AI motion tracking can actually do for your videos. Trust me, this is where things get really exciting. Select the objects you want to track. Just pick what you want to track, change how big the tracking box is, and let AI do the work. The AI tracker follows the movement automatically, so you don't have to do it yourself. Seriously guys, this will save you hours of tedious frame-by-frame -frame adjustments. Add dynamic text that moves with your video. Put text that follows moving things, like labels that follow athletes, callouts that stick to objects, or subtitles that interact with your video. Motion tracking makes your text move smoothly with what's happening on screen. This is perfect for you creators making sports highlights or tutorial videos. Blur moving objects with a single click. Need to hide faces or license plates. Our built-in mosaic tool lets you blur moving objects automatically. No need to do it frame by frame yourself. Privacy concerns solved in seconds. Transform emojis and graphics into visual magic. Add fun stuff like smiley faces, speech bubbles, or cool effects like Doctor Strange's shield to your videos. Phil Morris tracking turns simple graphics into powerful storytelling tools. Your audience won't believe how professional your effects look. With these AI motion tracking features at your fingertips, your videos will stand out from the crowd and keep your viewers coming back for more. Don't forget to experiment with different effects to find your own unique style. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. How to use motion tracking in Filmora Alright folks, now for the practical part. Using motion tracking in Filmora is super straightforward. Let me walk you through it. First, you'll need to go to filmora.wondershare.com and download and install the software. You can do it fast and for free, so it's super easy. After you sign up for an account, you can log into your dashboard and click New Project. The next step is to import your video into Filmora and drag and drop it on your timeline. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of tools to play with here, but you need this panel on the right and this tab, AI tools. And down here, you'll find exactly what you need, the motion tracking tool. I'll toggle the slider to activate it and the tracking box will appear. Move this over whatever object you want to track. In my case, it's a car. Make sure to adjust the size of the box to fit your object properly. That's it. When you're ready, just hit Start Motion Tracking and let Filmora work its magic. By the way, as the notification here says, you've got to make sure that the object in your tracking box must be visible 100% of the time for the motion tracking to work. So keep that in mind. And here's how it looks. The box follows the object. Next up, you'll want to add whatever element you'd like to attach to your moving object. It can be any image, video, emoji, text, whatever you want. Let's say I want to add a title. For this, I'll just drag and drop it on top of my video on the timeline 
and then adjust it to fit the tracking box like this. Now, if I play the video, you'll see that the text follows the car as it moves along the road. What you'll want to do next is to link this element to the tracked movement. For this, there's this drop-down menu titled Link Element. And here, you can import your elements from your computer or add a mosaic. I'll link the text I picked. Now, if I play the video, I can see that there's no box, but the element is linked to the motion. So it moves along with the car. And if you want to make the box visible again, you can just switch this visibility icon on. After that, you can preview your creation to make sure everything looks good. The element should follow your object smoothly throughout the video. If something looks off, you can always go back and adjust. And get this, friends! Filmora's motion tracking works across all your devices, whether you're editing on your PC, Mac, Android phone or iPhone. You can use this awesome feature to create professional-looking videos wherever you are. Final thoughts. So yeah, that's how easy it is to level up your videos with Filmora's motion tracking. Whether you're adding fun emojis, labeling stuff, or just trying to keep things looking sharp and professional, this tool seriously does all the hard work for you. You can head over to Filmora's site to try it out for yourself. There's a free version, so no pressure. If you've used motion tracking before, or you give it a try after this video, drop a comment below and tell me what you made. I'd love to hear about it. And if you've got questions or want me to cover another tool next time, just let me know. Thanks for watching, until next time.